Good morning, investors and traders. Yes, as the title says, that we are talking about the S&P 500's biggest one-day move since 2020. Why that has happened? Where are the opportunities? Should you be looking at this particular price momentum that we have seen over the last 24 hours and so this is all part of this particular segment if you haven't subscribed to our channel i highly recommend you to do so here is very briefly responding and disclaimers in front of you if you have any questions please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers a bit about myself i come with a wealth of a 15 years of trading experience during this time period i have worked as a hedge fund trader for bank of new york Mellon, as an equity trader with bank of america and currently providing services as a chief analyst for eritrea now the chart which is in front of you is telling us the price actions story for the last 15 minutes uh, I'm sorry on the 15 minute time frame since yesterday now of course the momentum began right at the from this particular candle this happened because the Federal Reserve decided to increase the interest rate by only 50 basis point now this action happened over here because the Federal Reserve confirmed that they don't want to increase the interest rate by 75 basis point. They only wanted to increase it by 50 basis point. So 75 is not on the table anymore. And this is certainly a very good news for the equity market. Now, for the last number of hours, what's been going on, the, the price action has been in a consolidation zone. And now the price big has started to break down out of, or break out of this consolidation zone with the momentum to the downside, picking up a bit more pace. Now, this is your 50 day simple moving average, this is your 100 day simple moving average, this is your 200 day simple moving average. What we see over here is the price kind of breaking below the 50 day simple moving average but that isn't that important in terms of that bull momentum fading or anything what is important is that we need to go into four hour time frame and see where the price action is on the four hour time frame what we really see is the price coming in close in contact to 100 day simple moving average now if you haven't been involved in this particular price action this could be the opportunity for you and the opportunity will come the moment the price will break above the 100 day simple moving average and in terms of your stop loss one could place that just below the low previous low now remember these are only for education purposes i don't know your risk parameters so do consult with your own financial advisors because i'm not this is not a financial advice now going back to this particular uh, agenda what we're really looking at is the opportunity which is really on our doorstep and which could happen in the next few hours the moment the price breaks above the 100 day simple moving average now of course if that happens the next question is where do we go in terms of finding our next target because the next target for me remains at least at this particular area where the 50 day simple moving average is trading on the daily time frame because remember we quickly changed the time frame from four hour to daily time frame so if you are breaking out of this one then the minimum target is this one but the actual target remains over here that's all for now see you guys next time